This is CBS 2 News. Hello, I'm Erica Sargent, CBS Chicago. In the news, an explosion at a steel plant damaged a nearby home in the Burnside neighborhood. Burning debris flew from a slag pit this morning and landed on the rear of this home and the 9100 block of Woodlawn. But people who live there say they heard something hit the house. Fortunately, no one was hurt. Well, these potholes, cracks and rough roads will soon be a thing of the past in some Chicago neighborhoods. The city kicked off its 2019 paving season today. 315 miles of Chicago streets and alleys are scheduled to be repaved this year. That's in addition to the potholes that patching crews have already been working on. You can report an issue on the 311 app. Single day tickets went on sale for Lollapalooza 2019 in Chicago. You can see Ariana Grande and other big headliners, Childish Gambino, 21 Pilots, and The Strokes. August 1st through 4th, that's when it happens in Grant Park. Four day passes are also on sale. Now let's turn to meteorologist Mary Kay Kleiss for a look at our forecast. Hi, Mary Kay. Hi, Erica. We kept warming up all day, but now we have a couple of severe weather threats. One this evening, mainly for our far northwestern suburbs and close to Rockford, and then one happening toward daybreak. So after about two or three in the morning, looks like the biggest threats from these storms would be damaging winds and hail. Large hail to golf ball size is a possibility, and we can't rule out an isolated tornado. And I think flooding would be our lowest threat because of the fast forward speed of the system as it moves through so individual cells will be racing by. Look at the warming air this afternoon as temperatures reach the 80s in St. Louis, 75 in Chicago. It's only 44 in Green Bay. It's a battle of these two air masses and just ahead of low pressure, we could see a shower or a thunderstorm through the evening spark, mainly for the area near Rockford. The main boundary though comes through tonight and as we get into daybreak, that's when our rain chance increases. We see those storms lining up over central Iowa. So as we go through the evening hours, we will look for showers and storms basically in this vicinity from McHenry County through DeKalb. So between 5 o'clock and about 8 o'clock tonight, there could be some gusty storms in that area. And through 10 o'clock, they start creeping through DuPage County as well. So this evening, keep be on the watch for a shower or a thunderstorm, and some of those thunderstorms could be strong or severe. Now our second batch of activity is going to come as we move through the overnight hours, and it looks like as we do that, we're going to see mainly the areas along I-80 and places to the south really start to focus on that activity really happening by the daybreak hour. And then we'll hit our daytime high early in the morning with falling temperatures throughout the afternoon. Erica. Thank you, Mary Kay. And for the latest headlines, day or night, head to CBSChicago.com. I'm Erica Sargent. Have a great day.